Our featured artist this week is a really cool guy. His name is Opelaru. He is from Ivory Coast and he is only 22 years old. Opelaru is a digital artist. He started in art school in Ivory Coast and then started to develop his own digital art style based on something that he saw he needed in his world. Opelaru is an avid user of technology, just like all of us. He's always on his phone, sending texts and using emojis. And when using the standard emojis that you always see, he noticed that something was missing. There were a certain set of emojis, but they weren't ones that really pertained to him. There were missing holes from his culture and Ivory Coast. There were faces and emotions that he uses with his friends that he couldn't find. And he decided he was gonna do something about that. Opelaru was already in art school, which is super cool, but he hadn't yet learned the skills he needed to make digital art. So he jumped on YouTube and started studying how to make digital art and make three-dimensional little emojis. After teaching himself how to do it, he started developing his very own emojis. And rather than doing just one, he decided to make one a day. So in the end, he ended up working for a whole year, making 365 different emojis that represent his culture and the culture of the people around him in Ivory Coast. Whoa. That's a lot of emojis. The best part is Opelaru didn't stop there. He didn't just make them for himself. He decided, why not share? Why not share his artwork with everybody else? Then Opelaru went and created his own app. The app is called Zuzukwa, which means image in his native language of BT. And the app is full of all of his 365 and more emojis and now stickers too. So far, his app Zuzuqua has been downloaded more than 120,000 times. What? His emojis are super cool. They draw from historical and cultural references from the area that he grew up in. There are emojis that feature specific food, plantains, and food too, which is a special mashed plantain. His favorite emoji, he said, is the bag of hibiscus juice. He also features different tools and cars and things that he would normally see, like a zebra-striped covered tea kettle. He also includes a more diverse group of faces and facial expressions. You will see hair braids, see head scarves, beautiful and exciting new outfits on the people with lots of patterns and traditional designs. There's even new dances. There are also a bunch more ex facial expressions. One of my favorites is the one where the eyelid on one eye is being pulled down, which means I told you so. It's super cool. He's continued to make his emojis. He hasn't stopped with just his 365. He keeps adding and doing and making more. Now, Opelaru isn't finished yet. He's still developing more emojis as he goes and learns more. He is currently working on creating a merchandise line with iPhone cases and hats and clothes with his emojis on them that people can purchase. And with that money, he's going to use it to travel all over Africa to different countries and regions to learn more about the culture in those places in order to develop more emojis that represent those specific places even better. Because although he represented the culture from where he is from, that is not the culture from everywhere in Africa. So he's trying to expand his app, expand his mind, and expand his emoji selection even more. The thing that I find most inspiring about Opelaru is that he saw that there was a need. The emoticons and the, emo the emojis didn't represent him and the people around him. So he made a change, not only for himself, but for so many other people. He decided to make something that has always been the way that it is into something more inclusive and more representative of his culture, himself, and others. I love that. So I hope we can all take a page from Opelaru's book and work to make the things that we have always seen and have always been a part of our lives into something that can be more inclusive for everyone. Thanks, Opelaru!